Hey guys, Chris Ryber here. Today we're reviewing the new KS 450 Pro V2 DFC Black Widow Edition from RC Aerodyne. Let's get in and take a look. We got a couple boxes here. Just a spacer box. I'm sure once the super combo comes out, the electronics would come in there. Okay, so let's see what's in the first box. One piece landing skits. Looks like ball links, screws, zip ties, velcro, blade holder, all that good stuff. Here's our main gear, one way bearing, Jesus bolt. It looks like it got some threaded canopy mount screws, which is nice. Now this box is a little bit heavier, so I'm guessing this is a boom and all the good stuff. Carbon fiber 3D blades. Carbon fiber boom supports with metal ends and metal horizontal fin support, which is nice. Aluminum tail boom and torque tube assembly. Carbon fiber frame. DFC fly barless rotor head. All right, let's get the last box open here. I'm guessing this is going to be the canopy. Oh, that's cool looking. It's a new canopy design. And here is a rear boom cover. That's cool. So it's going to have that FAI F3C kind of helicopter look, which you haven't really seen in a 450 before. So we'll get everything unwrapped and we'll take a closer look at it. All right, guys, now that I got everything out of the box, we'll take a closer look at everything. So here's a rear boom cover. It's all fiberglass, all painted. And then new canopy design. I think this helicopter will look cool with or without the boom cover. I kind of like this. It kind of looks like the, the Agile. Very nice, all fiberglass, clear coated. It looks something like that when it's done. Alright, so mainframe, some changes. Looks like the original 450 Pro we all know. What changed this time is now, instead of buying the upgrades, it comes with the aluminum tail servo mount aluminum anti-rotational bracket and servo tray. Bearing blocks in the same are, look the same inside, still have the metal motor mount. What's different here is the battery tray. It's still like the one piece that goes in the front, but they extended it down. So no more batteries kind of falling off. So not, not many changes there, just a few little ones and some extra bling. Same gearbox we all know to love. Everything 7075 aluminum. Um, very, very free, very nice play. No, no lateral play or anything in the bearings. Everything's nice and tight. I'm still going to take it all apart, lock tight everything like I always do. And then the, probably the biggest change with this new one is the DFC style head. No more fly bar. And the standard, you know, 450 Pro skids. Painted carbon fiber blades. As 
as always, carbon fiber horizontal and vertical fins, plate holder, got the anti-rotational main gear with the one-way bearing built into it. So let's jump right into build. I'll keep you guys posted on progress.